Maybe you are single for a longer period of life and you would like to trace the cause of it, if it's something unwanted, using the ancient wisdom of Vedic astrology. So in today's video, we'll be tracing the main causes of the single life and how to trace them in the chart. And the awareness of the real problem may be quite valuable because if we find the cause, then it would be easier to find the solution. Is it problem with general availability? Is it some trauma? Is it some fear of commitment or maybe other issue? Because walking with the torch in the hand, it makes the journey much easier. So we will try to synthesize those back end elements and to make them more valuable on the front end. New York, we have 50% being single. In LA, we have 55. And in Chicago, we have 52% uh, people being single. And we have the same numbers in Europe. In Munich, Vienna, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Riga, and Seville in Spain, Helsinki, all around 50% people are single. In Europe, 54 households are single people. And uh, we also have statistic that 30% of people are adults are now using the dating apps. 67% of single people prefer online dating. One in four uh, experience some form of loneliness. We have 20% of singles, so every one fifth also as a single parent. We have 35% of people which are delaying getting married due to financial reasons. And also the average age of single people in US is 35. About 44 people of single have at least a bachelor degree and 56 people in the cities are single compared to 44 in the rural areas. For example, when we take the category of lack of partners or affability issue, then we know that it will be 12 house issue and also the problems in the chart related to finding partners could be related to yogas like 7 Lord and 6 or 7 Lord and 12 and uh, some certain houses form Venus will be accentuated. So let's see the other categories and how they are seen in the chart. So the first category, the obvious one, I want to be single, the personal preference. These people are doing the remedies to be single. The doshas are the blessings, the more affliction, bring me more, more affliction to Venus, more affliction to Seventh Lord. I don't want to be in a relationship, I want to be free. So maybe there must be some Brahmacharya or Sannyasa, uh, yogas in the chart, yogas are a combination of planets which are giving that person who is satisfied a living independently. One has to do the self-investigation going for some vinyasa for 12 days or two weeks and uh, investigate, ask oneself, is it really something what I want? Is it not coming from some uh, brainwashing or some programming or some trauma or fear, commitment and things like that? But if it's healthy and you want it, then it's perfectly fine. There is no problem with that. So for that, we would need some connection to me. Like for example, Lagna Lord Moon or Atmakaraka connected to these yogas of planets which are showing that there is no relationship. So the 12th house, 7th from Sun, 7th house from the Lagna would have some correlation to these yogas of Lagna Lord or the Moon or Atmakaraka showing the own preference. Some people are saying, oh, Jupiter is me in the chart because it's a Jiva Karaka. But we could also say that Sun is me in the chart because it's Atmakaraka. Chandra is Manas. So it's might. So the Chandra or the moon is me in the chart. So in our tradition, we are not taking Jupiter as the Karaka, which is showing the person. There are also options in the Navamsha to confirm that it's own preference, but this will be the main combination for that. Let's see the second point. The second category is the busy lifestyle. If the apartments now are costing 10 times more than it was uh, in 1980, 1970, so also there is no surprise that people are more focused on day-to-day -day activities, which may a little bit inhibit getting married. So then in those points, which are showing relationship like 12th house, 12th Lord, 7th from Sun, 7th from Venus, and also the past of relationship 9th and 12th from Venus, we would find yogas for career life like Mercury, 10th Lord, or sometimes it could be even situation. I had such short planet, which is showing real life is conquering in some form of Yuda or war, the planet of relationship, then the same thing may manifest. And of course, each option we have to confirm with the divisional charts. 
The third category is sexual orientation because such people may uh, experience the prejudice, discrimination, even there is something like internalized homophobia, which can be like self-criticism or self-shame, the feeling of guilt, which is coming from the society and the person is internalizing it. So this can also delay in getting into relationship. We also have some cultural differences, some expectation of the family, isolation, also the mental issues, which are connected to the sexual preferences. So all of these are also, or can be the problems which are delaying getting married. So if you are in a small city or if you are in a community which is not supporting that, I would uh, advise at least to consider to going into bigger cities or communities which are more uh, tolerant and which are more welcoming and where you can find also more possibilities of getting married. So for such preferential blockage, we could call it, we will have some Mercury and Saturn related to the seventh house in Rashi or Navamsha, which is showing the same marriage preferences and this if there is delay will be connected to those points which we mentioned before we also have previous relationship trauma so for that usually the past of the relationship which is signified by a ninth from venus there often will be some affliction this may be also connected to 12th house if uh, this gives a blockage to meet anyone at all or to seventh house if the person may attract some wrong patterns, wrong partners, things like that, which is coming from this uh, trauma. There are also specific yogas in the Navamsha to confirm that, to confirm the trauma, to confirm the aggression in the marriage, in the relationship, which can either cause being single or even uh, dropping the relationship or lack of commitment, which is uh, which may manifest as jumping from one relationship to the other. So there are also different possibilities for that. Then we have the fear of commitment, which is also quite popular thing, at least among more younger people. And there we have also some kind of fear of commitment, some past bad experiences and also cultural shifts to be more independent, to hustle more, grind more. And we need to all be some CEOs of oneself. Everyone needs to be a one owns brand, things like that. So there lack time for some kind of cooperative uh, efforts, either for community relationship or family, because we are all in that hyper individual hype. And therefore, uh, third and ninth house will be accentuated in the chart because they are about commitment. So if again, points of relationship, seven from sun or 12th house are related to these and there is affliction and this is also confirmed in the Navamsha, then you know that this is the source of the problem, that there is some commitment issue because these houses are also uh, houses of like, engagement or some, it's like a deal, like agreement, right? So in your mind, you are making the agreement, you are making the commitment to stay in the relationship. So for people who have problems there, this could also be issue. Of course, all of these problems may come from the childhood also. So if your Lagna or fourth house afflictions are there, then you also may think about uh, digging in those areas through the mantras or psychotherapy or any other help. It's also funny to watch how one party, one gender, one sex is blaming the other. So they say, oh, now in the current age, in the current times, men doesn't want to commit. And the men are saying in their Instagrams, YouTube videos and their bubble spaces that it's all a woman's fault and so on. Then we have mental health as the cause of the problem. This intertwines somewhat with the personal choice, past trauma, but this can be something totally not related to previous relationship. There could be some either cognitive issues like ADHD, which are causing person to be more impulsive and less patient. This could affect sexuality. This could affect also commitment and even loyalty. As we can see with people with ADHD, this loyalty challenge is much more there due to this impulsivity problem. But there could be also uh, depression. There could be that I'm not worthy of relationship. I'm not worthy of committed relationship. So this depression, the self 
awareness and self-confidence may also play a huge role. For that, we can see the sun, Lagna, Lord Atmakaraka as being connected to it. But for mental issues, we need to find a yoga in the chart. For example, if we have a 12th house or moon affliction, or if we have the third for depression, fourth for anxiety, and fifth house for more serious problems, which are also impairing the memory. And then again, with the points of starting relationship are connected to these points, we know that this may be issue with the health. And of course, there is much more advanced ways to confirm that with the Navamsha, uh, because all of these problems will be falling into the health category. Right? Otherwise, fourth house may show the property problem. Sometimes it could be all about living together, which is destroying the relationship. Or uh, third house may also show uh, siblings. Right. So first, to make it easier to find that cause, we need to exclude all of the categories. And if this is health category, then the fourth house may uh, manifest as a fear of relationship or of, of partnership if there was some violence in the past and so on. By the way, we will be talking about mental issues in the future videos. So if you don't want to miss it, please consider subscribing to this channel. Then we have, of course, high standards, right? Everyone would say, oh, I have the high standards, but people with the Venus exalted, with the seven house, seven Lord exalted. And if the problem of delaying the uh, relationship is connected to the seven house of preferences. And if that seven house or if empty seven Lord, like my friend, she's liberal Agna, seven Lord is with Venus exalted in Pisces in the sixth house. So we know that this has to do with the high ideals. And because of that, the partners are not there because seven Lord is in the sixth house. So if that is specifically connected to seven from Venus or nine or 12 from Venus or seven from sun, then we know that yes, this yoga is, we could say, blocking the doors to start the relationship. Also, whilst interpreting the chart, we need to be sure to check if there is no subconscious or we could call it the spirit level of blockages. They are usually on the level of Atmakaraka. The Atmakara can reject the relationship. For example, if you have Jupiter Atmakaraka and the Venus, Seven Lord and Darakaraka is in the third or sixth from that Jupiter Atmakaraka, then we could say that your soul is rejecting the relationship. So because it's on the level of Atma or on the spirit, you may not be fully aware of it, right? So on the level of mind or intelligence, you may say, I want to be in a relationship, but somehow you will be doing everything. You will be sending those signals because deep inside, your soul is somehow rejecting this. And for that, we have the specific uh, remedies to conquer this problem. Then we have this lack of opportunity. This may be when, for example, two malefics are in the door. So in the seven from Venus or seven from Sun, 12th house very much will be related to that. When there is affliction, then we could say that there is no dating at all. So if the seven from Sun or seven from Venus are related additionally to the 12th house affliction, then usually we say this is the problem. Also seventh Lord in sixth or in 12th, it's also yoga for lack of availability, lack of partners, the partners may be somewhere else we could say. But this could be also a situation within partnership. So therefore we can uh, see the Venus. Is it before the Venus, 9 and 12, or after Venus, right? If it's something which is after marriage, or is it something before the marriage? Then we have this family influence. If Moon is in 12, then person takes the family uh, things very strongly into consideration. Uh, Upapada related to Saturn or 8th house may also show the arranged marriage. Is there, when it's Venus connected to 7 or Upapada or even Navamsha Lagna, then it is more love marriage, we say. And uh, again, if the moon or fourth house or second house are related to those points of relationship. And again, this would be the seven from Sun or 12 and uh, seven from Venus, which are opening, bringing the blessings. Uh, then we can say that the family is the uh, issue. Sometimes we could say that person, usually at the start of each reading, we are saying which chart is more important. Is it D1, D9 or D60? So D9 is very much about others. So if others are controlling your life, then we could say that this is when the Navamsha dominates. So 
those could be situations when you are sacrificing your own relationship or family, for example, for your father, you are taking care of your father, you are taking care of the family, and because of that, you are not entering the relationship. There are also many examples of people who have this dilemma in life, and uh, then this point in the chart will be accentuated. I prepared two examples for that, but I don't want to make this video longer, so I think we will resign from that. I think you got the main combinations and uh, for all of these categories. Of course, we always are giving the remedies, so this is not some fatal or judgment. We are not leaving the people without any solution. We have the solution in the form of tips, the timing and the mantra, the remedies. The timing uh, may also be very vital factor for this because sometimes it's not a problem of person or partners, but it was just not the time for this. So we are checking various dashas to see if they are opening the doors for relationship. For example, you could be in dasha of a moon, which is 10 years, and that was not possible to get married in that time. And uh, you are just at the end of uh, that dasha. For example, recently uh, on Friday, I think I had a consultation when person was changing in three dashas, the main periods, Mahadasha, in Narayana dasha, the Vimshotri, one other, and all of them were changing the next year. So there was a big shift for positive outcomes when it comes to married life. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions, please write them down below in the commentary. I love to read your comments. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. With that small favor, you are making this video more visible on this platform. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's a big thing for me. Also, join our analytics family on the Discord. The link is below for one-on-one -on -one consultation on the Zoom 60 or 90 minutes when we are analyzing your health, relationship, and marriage with the mantra, timing, and the tips, please hit me up with this email here. If you'd like to see the extreme example of blocked relationship, for example, for priests or such people, then consider watching this one. Thank you.